Hi everyone, and thank you for joining me. We are going to talk about how to use Shopify's brand new free email marketing platform. So with your e-commerce platform, you actually can do email marketing for free, and it is completely free from now until October of 2020. After that, it's still free for your first 2,500 email sends, and it's only a dollar per thousand email sends after that. Uh, per email addresses. So it's a really great platform and it comes with your e-commerce platform for free. Now, in order to do an email marketing blast, all you do is go over here on the left-hand side to marketing. Then you scroll down here and you can see your past campaigns. So I'll click right here and uh, click on edit activity to see my past campaign. And this will show me an email blast that I created for my customers. So you can see Keegan's Pet Store, this month's bestsellers, and one of my products in here, in the, my email blast. Now, what I'm gonna do is show you how to create one of these from scratch and show you how just how easy that is. So I'm just going to go here, um, I'm in marketing campaigns. So I clicked on marketing campaigns, and I'm going to create a campaign. I'm gonna do a Shopify email, Shopify email is free. Click on this. It is going to load templates for me. So the ones I really like, um, you know, you can see some text-based ones. So if you need to send like a message out to your customers, you're able to do that. Um, the ones that are probably gonna be most often used are the promotional ones. So sending a discount here, or what we like to do is send out some featured products or discounted products. So I'm going to select this template. Okay, now the first thing I do is I put in my subject. So I'm gonna say uh, uh, this month's best selling products. And then a preview text. Now this is the little bit of text that a customer sees when they, they look at your email when it comes to their inbox. I'm gonna say, check out our best selling pet products this month. Okay, perfect. So, and then the from address is set up here for my, my address, uh, for my store with the name of my store here. So that's the subject line and that is the preview text. Now here, I'd like to select an image, my logo here. So perfect, I'm replacing that with, uh, with my store logo. Now I can make my logo bigger if I want to, or I can make my logo smaller. Um, it all depends on what you see. I can change it out if I wanna use a different image. I can choose to left align it, put it in the middle, um, show the divider between my logo and the rest of the text, or just have it uh, merge right into it. If I wanted to set a background color, a divider color, I can do that as well. But I'm happy with my logo, Keegan's Pet Store, on a white background. Now, here's where I can put in some marketing messages. So uh, meet this month's bestseller. Let's just say I want to word that a little differently. I'm gonna say uh, this, this month's bestselling products. I'll go on to two lines there, but let's just say that's the way I want to word this email blast. I can do that. Um, and then just see, I can put a little subtitle here. Um, our favorite products this month, right? So then I've got a little subheader. Now let's just say I want to um, change the font. I can do that here. I can change the font size of this text as well. Um, so it, it's the size that I want. I can change the text color and I can change the background. So let's just do that to just show you an example. Let's just say for some reason I want this to be blue. Um, I can click here on the different colors and change it to exactly the color I want it to. So for whatever reason, I want that to be blue. Um, I could do that. Let's just make it into some type of green. Um, it's kind of similar there. Kind of do something like that there. It doesn't matter. We're just doing a tutorial. Maybe an ugly green there, but um, all right. So I just picked a green for background. Let's just say, okay, that text, um, I don't want that to be dark. I'd, let's just say I want that text to be white. Maybe that's a little easier to read. Maybe this one, I just say, well, maybe that'll be gray. Um, oh, that's a little tough to read. Maybe we'll do that gray, right? So then I easily picked a couple of changes there to the colors. Um, let's just say I want to maybe make another announcement here or something like that. I can go in here and I can just say, okay, let's add a little bit more text 
because we're now offering uh, now offering a curbside pickup right so maybe you maybe something new is going on like that and you want to announce it to your customers i'll make that a little bit bigger um, now that's going to be in white i could make an exclamation point there if i wanted to um, maybe i could make a different background color there i think that might get a little busy so i'm just going to leave that white but now my store eblast is coming together nicely i've got my logo this month's best selling products favorite products of the month now offering curbside pickup you know, I could do things like switch around and put the curbside pickup message right here um, if I wanted to, but you get the idea that you can easily add some text here um, to your eblast. Now for the products, it automatically pulled in my product and my product description here. Um, so I'm going to edit that a little bit. Um, I like that the image is there and the title and the price. Let's just say that description's a little long. I don't really want that there. I just click on that little eye icon and now that description's gone. That's a little bit better for me. So now I'm, it's a little bit uh, cleaner look um, from, from my perspective. Um, I like the buttons there, but maybe I wanna have that color stand out a little bit more uh, just so people see it and buy. Maybe we'll go with green. Yeah, there we go. I like that green, it kind of stands out. It's a little bit different, encourages people to shop the product now. If they click on this, it takes them directly to this product on my site. Um, I can also, if, maybe if I look at the image and say, uh, I don't really want it full width, maybe I can just make it not full width so it'll kind of reduce the size of the image. Okay, I like that so far. Now, um, let's just say I want to add another product. I could just say, here's my featured product, but let's just say I want to add another product. I simply click on add, click on product, and I can click right over here and select a product from my catalog. So I, this is a test store, so I only have a few products in here, but let's just say I wanted to add these dog toys. I could select that. And now my dog toys are also in here. I'm gonna do something similar and change the image so it's no longer full width. So now my product is there with an image. Um, the description, I'm gonna make sure that's not there. It just says, this is a dog toy. Um, similarly, I could change the button color if I wanted to. Um, I could choose not to show the title or price if for whatever reason you said, oh, I want them to see the price when they actually get to the website, you could control that too. Um, but we'll probably in most instances want to include the price there. So now I've got two products in my email blast. Maybe I'll, I'll add one more. Um, so I'll go here to product and I will select another product i only have three products in my test site so we're down here now if you had a lot of products in your site you can search for them um, here and uh, it'll just populate the product that you search for so here's my taste of the wild product um, again it's just a, a reference product so it brings in the can description i'm going to again say well maybe the description is a little long for me you could choose to have it in but i like to have a nice clean looking email blast so perfect, um, that green is a little bothersome. Let's just make it something, there we go, a little bit closer. Um, okay, perfect. So now I've got an e-blast put together and it'll automatically populate your store address here down at the bottom and give people the option to unsubscribe. But now quickly and simply, um, I probably wanna do a couple things here like change the buttons so that that background color is the same as the other color that I'm using. I'll do the same thing right here and change the button color to same background color I just used. Perfect. Now there's a little bit more consistency here and you can see those shop now buttons jump out. Um, now I create a really simple straightforward messaging. I've created a subject preview text and I have an email blast ready to go to my customers in just a couple minutes, right? Super easy to get set up. Now it's always important and we recommend sending a test email. So I can go in here and I'll just send a test email to myself um, and I'll send that so that I can always double check it and make sure everything looks the way I expect it to. Uh, but I can also use the tool here and click review. And right here it will show me, um, okay, this is going to all your subscribers um, the email address is going to be from because it's going to come from your store and an email at your store. Um, the subject, so this month's best selling products, 
check out our best-selling products this month is the subtext and then if you see okay here's what it looks like on a desktop nice clean email blast featuring my products um, with people with the ability to click to shop now we realize a lot of people open their emails on their mobile device so here's exactly what my email blast looks like on mobile again it's best to keep these simple straightforward clean um, and so I've got a nice clean email marketing blast to send to my customers and I can simply click send here or I can click here to schedule it or I can click here to send a test email or if I still feel like I need to do more editing I can click here and go back to the previous screen so let's just say I want to schedule this I can click on schedule I can schedule this to go out tomorrow and I can send schedule this to go out at uh, let's just say um, 12 p.m. tomorrow right and then it's all set now um, in our next video so I'll click back here to edit we'll talk about how to um, add email addresses to this so you can see I have one person here and I can send to all subscribers I can send to new subscribers um, or I could send to people who who have just accepted marketing returning uh, people just from the United States which in most of our stores will just be people from the United States, but that might be different for your store. Um, or you can upload your, your customers as well um, to Shopify in order to populate whatever email addresses you already have to send these campaigns to. So I'm just gonna click on all subscribers here. Um, that's where this would go to, and I can go click on the top right and go back to that review screen. Um, and that's it, you're ready to go. So I could, I could very easily click send and send out this email marketing campaign after that few minutes of just getting this put together. Um, so it's a really great tool, it's free. Uh, email marketing is one of the best ways to grow sales in your online store, it really is. It's still one of the most proven and top methods for growing online sales. So put this to good use for your business and um, start using the, the free Shopify email marketing platform today. Thanks very much for tuning into the video.